All right, so we're going to take a look at solving a density problem. Uh, so the question that we're being provided is right here. What is the density of a metal which has a mass of 3.0 grams and a volume of 0.5 milliliters? I'm going to go ahead and just change that to 0.50 just so we're going to keep two sig figs all through this question. Uh, so in order to solve this question, we want to use our relationships for density. Um, now we can use the density circle to review this. We know that density, if we cover, will be equal to mass divided by volume. We can use the circle to uh, solve all the other relationships that we would have uh, for any other density problem. For example, if we want to solve for volume, we would cover the V. Volume would be equal to mass divided by density. If I wanted to solve for mass, I would cover the M, and I would find that mass is equal to density times volume. Back to the question at hand. So we've been given information about this metal sample. I want to go ahead and follow through on my first step of the five-step problem-solving technique. I'm going to record the known values, and then I'm going to also record what's the value that I'm trying to find. So my known variables, first one is the mass, and this is 3.0 grams. The other known value was the volume. This was 0 0.50 milliliters. And in this problem, again, I'm trying to solve for the density, which is my unknown. So I'm going to go ahead and just write D equals question mark. The next step in my problem solving strategy will be to write the equation, which is going to help me solve this question. So what is D equal to? D is equal to, cover the D, mass divided by volume. So again, density is equal to mass divided by volume. At this point, now what I want to do is to substitute in my known values of 3.0 grams and 0 0.50 milliliters. So I can see that by dividing three, I'm sorry, dividing three by 0.5 is going to give me an answer of six. 3.0 has two sig figs, 0 0.50 also has two sig figs. So my final answer should be reported with two significant digits. Three divided by 0.5 is six. So my final answer will be 6.0. And my unit will be grams per milliliter. So that is my final answer, 6.0 grams per milliliter is the density of this sample of metal. Let's just do a quick review of the five-step method. In our first step, we identified the variables, both known and unknown, from the problem. They were the mass was 3.0 grams, the volume was 0 0.50 milliliters, the density is what we were trying to find. My second step was to identify the equation that I would use to solve this question. Density is equal to mass divided by volume. Please note that the equation should be written, solved in terms of your unknown variable. If we were given a different problem to try to find the mass in step two, I would not write D equals M divided by V. I would need to write the equation for finding mass, which would be mass is equal to density times volume. So my second step is to identify the correct equation. My third step is to substitute in my known variables to that equation, 3.0 grams divided by 0 0.50 milliliters. Step four and five are kind of combined. Step four I like to think of as when I'm calculating the number portion of my answer. Three divided by 0.5 gave an answer of six. I'm also evaluating sig figs in this step. Step five is when I'm evaluating which unit should be recorded with my final answer. Because I'm finding a density, my units should be mass over volume. I have a unit of mass, grams, divided by a unit of volume, milliliters. So again, these are my five steps that I'm using to solve any uh, word problem in a chemistry class.